Hello, chemistry students. Today we're going to be, be performing our empirical formula of magnesium oxide lab. The purpose of this experiment is to identify a molecule formula after a chemical reaction has occurred. Let's get started. Okay, so to start this experiment, we're going to heat a clean, dry crucible and its cover on a clay triangle that's supported by a ring stand. We're gonna be using a Bunsen burner and a direct flame. We're gonna heat it for about five minutes. So we'll get our crucible set up. Turn our cover on. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and start our, light our Bunsen burner. And we'll let that heat for five minutes. Okay, so our crucible and cover have been heating for five minutes now. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the flame. And we're going to allow our crucible and cover to cool. And we're gonna leave it in the crucible. We're gonna leave the crucible and cover in the clay triangle here to cool. Okay, we've allowed our crucible and cover to cool. So now we're going to weigh the empty dry crucible and the cover on a digital balance. Okay, so the weight of our dry cooled crucible and cover is 16.8940 grams. Okay, so next we're going to obtain a piece of magnesium ribbon. We have our magnesium ribbon here. Okay, so our magnesium ribbon is nice and shiny. So we do not need to polish it with steel wool to remove any oxide coating. So we're going to fold the magnesium ribbon. Good idea is to wrap it around a pencil. So here's our folded magnesium ribbon. We'll place it in our crucible. And now we're going to weigh our crucible cover and magnesium ribbon together. Okay, so the mass of our crucible, our crucible cover, and the magnesium ribbon is 17.0396 grams. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to start heating the crucible with the magnesium. So we have the crucible with the magnesium inside. And set it on our clay triangle. We're going to start heating with the crucible cover off. And so as it starts heating, as soon as the magnesium catches fire, I'm going to put the crucible cover on, continue heating for about a minute or so, then I'll remove the crucible cover. And as, if it catches fire again, I will put the crucible cover back on, continue heating, and we will repeat that process until the magnesium no longer catches fire when the crucible cover has been removed. We're gonna light our Bunsen burner. We're gonna have our crucible cover ready with the crucible tongs. And now we'll heat until our magnesium ignites.
Oh, so it's igniting. I don't know if you could see the light coming out of there or not, but the magnesium was lighting. So now we're going to let it go for about a minute or so before we remove the cover. So let's remove the cover and see if it continues to ignite. It's still igniting. Put the cover back on. Check again. Still igniting. Okay, let's check again. We're still igniting a little bit. We'll check again. It's igniting just a little bit inside of the crucible. We'll let it continue going. Okay, let's check our crucible again. Remove the cover. So at this point, it appears that our magnesium is no longer igniting. So we're going to cover the crucible and heat with the Bunsen burner for an additional five minutes. So we'll let this heat for five minutes. Okay, at this point, our crucible has been heating for five minutes and the bottom of our crucible has been red hot. So we're going to turn the burner off and let the crucible cool until it is just barely warm to the touch. So we'll let this cool. Okay, so our crucible is now just warm to the touch here. So at this point, we're not going to need the crucible cover. So I'm just going to remove it and set it off to the side. Put our crucible back on the clay triangle. And now we're going to add 10 drops DI water. And we're going to make sure to wet the entire surface of the sample, not just one spot. So 10 drops. Those are 10 drops. Now we're going to turn our Bunsen burner back on and we're going to warm the crucible with the damp sample inside for about a minute or so. We're going to let this warm for about a minute. I don't know if you can hear, but the water's being driven off. Okay, so we've warmed gently for about a minute. We're going to turn the flame up just a little bit and heat moderately for about 10 minutes. And again, we don't need the cover for this part of the heating. Okay, 
We just want to heat moderately. The bottom of the crucible does not need to become red hot in this part of the experiment. We'll let this go for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, we've heated the crucible for about 10 minutes. So now we're going to turn off the Bunsen burner. We're going to let the crucible cool until barely warm to the touch. Okay, so at this point, we've allowed our crucible and cover and the magnesium oxide inside to cool until just warm to the touch. And you can see we have our crucible, our cover, and our magnesium oxide is inside the crucible. So now we're going to take all three of these, the crucible, the magnesium oxide, and the cover, and we're going to mass them on our analytical balance. Okay, so the total mass of the crucible, the magnesium oxide, and the crucible cover is 17.1338 grams. So you can you now can perform the necessary calculations to determine the the empirical formula of magnesium oxide for trial number one. We're going to go ahead and do a quick trial number two. Okay, so for trial number two, I've already gone ahead and heated another crucible and lid for five minutes and allowed it to cool to room temperature. Now I'm going to mass that crucible and lid. So the mass of the crucible and lid for trial number two is 18.0103 grams. Okay, we're going to take another strip of magnesium for trial number two. And curl it around our pencil. Like so. And then add it to our crucible. Okay, we're now going to record the mass of our crucible, our crucible cover, and our magnesium ribbon for trial number two. So our mass of our crucible, our crucible cover, and our magnesium ribbon for trial number two is 18.1559 grams. Okay, so we're going to perform trial number two. I've got the crucible and the magnesium ribbon in the clay triangle. And we're going to leave the crucible cover off for the moment. I'm going to turn on the Bunsen burner and we're going to get the crucible heating. And then as soon as the magnesium starts to ignite, I will cover the crucible with the crucible cover for about one minute and then I will remove it, allow it to ignite again, and then cover and repeat that process until upon removal of the crucible cover, the magnesium no longer ignites. So let's go ahead and start that process. So we're heating until our magnesium starts to ignite. And once the, it starts to ignite, we will cover with the crucible cover. Okay, so our magnesium is starting to ignite. So I'm gonna cover with the crucible lid and continue heating for about another minute. Okay, so it's been about a minute. I'm going to remove the crucible cover Wait for the magnesium to ignite, ignite again, which it is right now, and then cover with the crucible cover for about another minute. 
Okay, so we're going to repeat this process until the crucible cover, once the crucible cover is removed, the magnesium no longer ignites. Okay, so at this point, when we remove the cover, the magnesium is no longer igniting. So we're going to go ahead and place the cover back on and heat strongly for an additional five minutes and make sure that the crucible bottom becomes red hot. You, you can, might already be able to see it's pretty red hot right now, but we'll turn up the flame a little bit and we'll heat for five minutes. So we're about one minute into our five minutes of strong heating, but you should be able to see now that the bottom of our crucible is red hot. That's what we want to see. Okay, at this point it's been five minutes, so we're going to turn off the burner and let the crucible cool until it's just barely warm to the touch again. We'll let the crucible cool. Okay, we've allowed the crucible to cool until just barely warm to the touch. Our magnesium oxide's inside of there, inside the crucible. So we don't need the cover for this part of the experiment again. Trial two. So we're going to take 10 drops of DI water and wet our sample and make sure that the entire sample gets wet. That's 10 drops. So now we're going to warm the crucible with the damp sample with a gentle flame for about a minute or so. We'll let that go for a minute. Okay, so we've let the damp sample heat for about one minute. We're now going to adjust the flame to a moderate heat and heat for 10 minutes. We do not need the crucible to become red hot in this step. So we'll let this go for 10 minutes. Okay, so we've let the crucible heat moderately for 10 minutes. So we're gonna turn off the Bunsen burner. And we're going to allow the crucible and the magnesium oxide inside to cool until just warm to the touch. Okay, so we've allowed the crucible to cool until just warm to the touch. So now we're going to mass the crucible, the magnesium oxide inside, and the crucible cover for trial number two. Okay, so the mass of our crucible, our crucible cover, and our magnesium oxide for trial number two is 18.2506 grams. Okay, so now that we have all the masses for trial number two, you should now be able to perform the necessary calculations to determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxide. That concludes this lab. Thank you for joining me for the empirical formula of magnesium oxide lab.